Hi everybody and uh, welcome to my channel audio video music and entertainment. In today's video I'm going to show you how to get good sound or good audio and video out of your uh, TV and your uh, gaming devices or your satellite top boxes. And um, I go to uh, my friends houses and stuff and it's all configured wrong so uh, that's why uh, I wanted to create this video for journal public just to realize that uh, by tweaking a few options in your devices you can get good sound and good picture out of your TV and your uh, sound system. Uh, so first thing is uh, allocate your source devices. Now source devices are that are producing the audio and video. Uh, in my case, I've got a, a free to uh, satellite uh, box and uh, an Xbox and uh, uh, Google Chromecast uh, that I use the most to watch TV. And uh, uh, my destination device that's receiving the signal is my TV and this speaker right here. Uh, so by doing a little configuration, I'll get good sound and good video out of it and I'll show you how to do that as well. So first thing I'll start with the satellite box. So let's go ahead here and let's go to the settings of satellite box and I'll zoom onto the TV. Okay guys, uh, so next step is what you do is go into the menu settings of your satellite box or your cable TV box or any box that you use to receive uh, free to air channels or free to satellite channels or paid channels and go, go into like sound or TV system settings that that box is outputting to your TV or to your uh, AVR and I've got this now my box supports 1080p at 60 Hertz and my TV supports 1080p at 60 Hertz. If my TV doesn't support 1080p at 60 Hertz, I'll change it to 1080p 50 Hertz. But I know that my TV and my box, satellite box, both of them, they support 1080p at 60 Hertz. So I'm gonna leave it on this. I'm gonna select this 1080p at 60 Hertz. So you should do the same if your satellite box and your TV box support 1080p at 60 Hertz. Aspect mode, I'm gonna leave it on auto. If you haven't got the setting for auto, you should have like picture uh, by picture or 16 by nine, just select that. But if there is auto, all, all the boxes nowadays, they have got auto uh, aspect mode uh, ratio available. So just select that and for video output now this is really important this is the color spacing always select yuv i'll show you why uh, because if i select rgb and you'll see that in the color spacing there would be difference like can you see it's like uh, faded away and they're like basically the words they're bleeding into each other so that color spacing doesn't work uh, so I'm just gonna go with YUV if you guys are more interested do some research on YUV and RGB color spacing and stuff for digital audio output obviously I want uncompressed and uh, always select uh, PCM if one is available uh, this is for broadcast uh, don't select that just select for like uh, consumer level which is uh, PCM and uh, you would find this in uh, uh, commercial level equipment as well but if PCM is available as output for audio select that okay so once you have done that then exit it now second thing is you need to configure the audio and video on your TV as well uh, to get the best picture so what you do is go into menu and I would always say start with standard uh, because these are the presets if you sel select dynamic can you see it's these are old presets you can't fine-tune now there are some uh, TV models in which you can fine-tune this to your uh, to your taste and stuff which is really good uh, 
but that function is available in higher end uh, TV modules. Uh, so if you haven't got that, then just I would say just go with standard as a start because that's where everything is in the middle and that's what you want. Uh, but if you want to change it, then change it to anything you want, like uh, dynamic, mild, personal, economy, or you would have some different uh, naming up there dependent on your TV. So this is the second thing you need to do. Third thing is go to audio. Now, this is really important. Uh, can you see like sound modes? These are presets as well. Now, these are effects. Can you see treble and bass? They are in 50. Uh, so treble is your higher frequency, bass is your lower frequency. And this is uh, kind of like a parametric EQ, oh, sorry, graphics EQ settings uh, on your TV for your audio. Uh, if I change that to like, let's say movie, can you see like treble has gone to 90 and bass is to 75. So basically it's changing the effects. Uh, uh, in in the frequency spectrum that's exactly what it's doing uh, and I would o always say stick with standard because that's the best and uh, obviously my TV digital output it has got a, a Toslink optical output uh, which is outputting PCM uh, again if you want to do some research on PCM do so it's a good topic and uh, let me go back and here PCN. So sound mode, keep it on standard, video mode, keep it on standard and make sure your digital output is PCM and always your analog output would be analog output uncompressed anyways. Uh, so these are just basic settings from your TV. Now if I press info, can you see that I'm receiving at the moment 1080i at 50 hertz? Uh, I don't want that. So I'm going to go to my a satellite top box TV system and I'm going to change this, this to 1080p at 60 hertz so it's just going to take some time and can you see right here 1080p at 60 hertz I'm going to exit this go to like TV menu and just make sure that I am getting 1080p at 60 hertz because this is the best value uh, to put it there if your satellite box and your TV they support it. Now uh, for your uh, Xbox or for your gaming console you should do the same I'll show it to you if you are using it on your TV. Uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate using Xbox and if your TV supports uh, 1080p 60 Hertz that's a good thing always select that uh, but I'll show you where to go for the settings in this Xbox. Just press the Xbox button, go to settings, all settings, and here you will have display and sound settings. Go to that, select video output, and uh, select 1080p display and uh, color depth. Now, this is really important. This is the bandwidth. So, uh, select if you got higher end TV that supports up to 36 bit per pixel select that I'm just keeping it to 24 bit per pixel color space I'm keeping it standard which is YUV can you see like there is PC RGB I'm not gonna select that because I'm not using uh, a PC monitor uh, like a higher end monitor to do it so I'm just gonna keep it standard and uh, there are some advanced video settings as well and I have connected my Xbox via HDMI so select that now for games and apps can you see allow 50 Hertz allow 24 Hertz allow 3d now my TV supports 50 Hertz 3d and 24 Hertz by default Xbox uh, outputs uh, 60 Hertz uh, so uh, I believe they brought in these settings with an upgrade while ago so it's good to have see these up uh, these herd settings here as well. So just check all of that if your TV supports it and then just exit this. Exit this. Now this has a built-in Xbox has a built-in sound mixer 
uh, and the only setting it gives is the panning so just make sure it's balanced it's in the middle and then there is a chat mixer as well which I'm not gonna go to okay audio output HDMI audio stereo uncompressed now this is really important as I said if you've got like a 5.1 setup in your lounge or on your desk uh, or 7.1 setup then you need to change these settings like this is stereo uncompressed 5.1 uncompressed so if you got 5.1 setup select this if you got 7.1 select this but I've got stereo setup so I'm just gonna select stereo if you've got optical uh, if you have taken an optical output from your Xbox and uh, connected it to your AVR or to your TV directly then just select uh, stereo or bitstream output bitstream is like another uh, output just do some research hey guys uh, so just to wrap up uh, uh, i've explained in this video like uh, uh, from your uh, source devices uh, just select the output of video and audio that's you gonna that you're gonna be sending to your uh, destination device which is your tv and your speaker uh, that is really important and then from your TV always select the standard modes to start with and then change them or fine-tune it according to your taste or your room acoustics and stuff and the, your room lighting and the room environment but if you keep it to standard you would get the best audio and video okay guys hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video click on the like icon and I'll keep making good AV videos thank you bye